What's up, guys? This is my latest comic haul. I got a value pack, some antique mall stuff, some stuff I got in the mail from online uh, orders from uh, Hip Comics and uh, some from eBay. All right. First up is the value pack comic that I left out last week because I forgot to uh, get it. Uh, it's Obi Wan number one, the photo variant. Right here. It was in the value pack with the Superior Four number two. Right. And then I got a uh, Avengers Ten Thousand BC number one. Now, I'm not sure if I showed these already. I don't think I did, so I'm gonna go ahead and show them again. If I already showed them, I apologize, but. It's cool. Now, this is Fantastic Four 45. Edge of Spider Verse number one, the variant edition. Jane Foster, the May Thor, uh, number two. It's the variant edition with the Prater on it. That's pretty cool. Now this one, the Legion of X, uh, number two. This is also, I think, a variant, yeah, a variant cover. That's pretty neat. And this is Carnage number two. I like this cover. It's pretty cool. I really like that. It's pretty neat. And then this is uh, X Men Legends number one. And this is uh, Immortal X Men. Number three, and I think this is a regular uh, cover. It was done by, uh, I think Mark Brooks did it. That's pretty cool. All right, the anti mall stuff now. I got. No, no. That does the one. That's not one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. Pay forty dollars for all ten books. All right, so let's go with the older ones last. So. No, 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 no. Alright. I got a uh, S Caliber number 28. The mermaid cover. That's pretty cool. It's like it's like all of these for like forty dollars. This one's like a dollar, I think. I got Judge Dread number 20 from Eagle Comics. It's a bowling cover. Got a couple of dollars for this too. Then I bought Stormwatch number one because it's newsstand. I got this one for like a dollar. It's a newsstand one. It's in pretty good shape. Okay, and then I got Time Warp number one. Is it number five? It's like a, it was like a dollar fifty, I guess. It was like half off. It's a little dirty though, but it's a sexy cover. The robots got the girl in the bondage. It's pretty cool. And then this one right here is also a new stand. It is a uh, number eight, Miss Mystic. 
It's in really great shape. It's a kissing cover. You can get it for like a dollar. Alright, now this is Yogi Bear number one from Marvel Comics. Um, I think it's from the late 70s. Right here. Take two hours and fifty cents for this one. Pay about four dollars for this one. I've probably overpaid this one, but it's like uh, four colors, nine twenty nine. It's really beat up. I pay like four dollars for it. This was like three dollars. This is uh, Henry. Action Comics, Jumbo Size, from 1966. Like $3, not bad. This is a little Lulu 103. Hippopotamus, hip, hippo uh, cover. Hippopotamus cover, right here. Well, it gave me like, I think $8 for it. It's got like a crease down the middle though. It's not bad for eight dollars. And then I got this one. This is eight dollars too. This is the uh, little Lo uh, Loda uh, number uh, seventy nine. It's in great shape right here. It's probably fine to very fine. She's throwing a bowling ball and it goes to the pins and through the wall. I thought it was pretty cool. It's a cool, cool bowling cover. All right, now I went to my local comic book shop and I got a, this is an old bag, around ran out of new bags. I was putting in there to protect it. It's Blade Runner, uh, Black Lotus, number one. Uh, from, uh, let's see. Yeah, Titan Comics, cover A. That was pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Alright, the ones I got in the mail, I got uh, The Octopus by uh, Frank Norris uh, story, it's a uh, LB Cole cover, right here, it's got a train, a horse, a cowboy on it, that's pretty cool, I like, I think $15 for it, then... If you watch my other videos with Wonder Woman, uh, I was gonna upgrade that one book. I found this one. It was like thirty bucks. It's in good shape. It's it's probably in like seven, seven and a half. Anyway, it's a Wonder Woman one sixty two. It might be even higher. I don't know. It's pretty good shape though. Don't have no creases all on it. It just has uh maybe three or four spine ticks. Corners look sharp. It's in pretty good shape. All right. The two slabs I got. I got this one from Hip Comics, but uh, I've ordered like several slabs from uh, online from eBay and Hip Comics and whatnot. Um, this is the first one that got broke. <laughs> got broke right here in the corner. It got shattered. But, it, you know, it still displays nicely. Paid about $40 plus shipping. I think it was like 45 total or something like that. It's an Art Germ variant cover. I think it's pretty cool. 9.8. Art Germ is pretty cool. I like the way he draws. This from uh, 2019, Catwoman number 13. Again, it's pretty cool. All right. I might send him back in to get re slabbed, I'm not sure. All right. 
this one I bought. They want this one's price dropped on it. The last time I checked, a 2.0 like last year was like uh, seven eight hundred dollars, and it was like that beginning of this year. Uh, price dropped on it, so I went and bought one graded. I could have probably got a cheaper one raw, but you know it's about the same quality. Pay like uh, I think five hundred total for this, but. Anyway, it's 2.0 Detective Comics uh, 359. First appearance of Barbara Gordon as a uh, Batgirl. All right, that's right here. Now it's got uh, DC. They only uh, when they sent the stuff overseas to like Britain, they just stamped it right here. Just stamped it with the pence. Uh, Depends uh, amount. This one I thought was interesting because right here it has the book exchange with address and stuff. It says uh, this uh, may be exchanged for price if returned in good condition. So I guess it's kind of like a you know a library type thing. You know you take it home, read, it, take it back. It's been stamped like one, two, three, four. About four or five times, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Never seen something like that before. It's Britain, of course. Uh, anyway, it just plays nicely. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I got it in England, so the UK. It was like five hundred dollars shipping and all. That was okay price. Could have got a lower grade one for about three hundred to four hundred, but. I just thought it was interesting with the stamps. Plus, I used the money I won on the Halloween contest to buy it, so it really didn't cost me you know prize money. Then I got a couple more things. Okay, I bought this right here. This is like my third one I got. I got two of them for catalogs: Thor, not Thor, Captain America, and uh, Iron Man. I'm not sure about Thor. I can't remember. I got this at Bargain Hunt for three dollars and fifty cents. So I got one for me and one for my uh, nephew. He collects the stuff. And then uh, Geico was giving away uh, a Geico uh, Gecko uh, pops. So I won, uh, got one, two of these. He glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. They got an orange version. They also got a gold version, and a green version. The gold one was a handout room with the sweepstakes, but the uh, green one, yeah, I think, is the rarest, maybe. And then the orange one and the white one is the most common. I had a couple of these. Give one to my nephew. I'm going to keep one. So that was kind of interesting. Anyway, I think that is it for right now. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, click what you like, click what you want, and don't get trapped in FOMO. Enjoy the hobby. Thanks, bye.